In this demo, we'll look at TC Server Diagnostics. Diagnostics is a feature that is built into TC Runtime, which is the extended Tomcat portion of TC Server. It's a customization that we've done to Tomcat to provide some very valuable troubleshooting information to administrators in case of slowdown. We have an application here which simulates various reasons why applications slow down in production, and we're going to run a couple of these. Before we do, we want to bring up another couple of windows, the first being J Console. We show the J Console and emphasize that the diagnostic information is published via standard JMX as well as being logged. You can also see in J Console where we have extended the JMX interface of standard Tomcat. Here, under the TC Server JMX extensions, you can see the time threshold for the diagnostics output. The threshold sets the limit for how long the responses can take to come back before the diagnostics will fire. The default threshold is 5 seconds. This means that any request coming into the TC server that takes longer than 5 seconds is going to trigger the diagnostics output. Let's return to the browser windows and run a request. We click the link and our browser is spinning. We're becoming a frustrated user at this point waiting for our page to load. We'll bring up a DOS window here to capture the diagnostics output in real time. Finally, we see our request is completed, and because it took longer than the threshold of 5 seconds, TC Server generated this diagnostics information. Note that if the response had come back in less than 5 seconds, this diagnostics information would not have been sent out. It only goes out in case of a slowdown. Let's break down the diagnostics information laid out here. We see which specific page within the application was slow. We see the start and complete time and the request duration. In our case, the request took over 13 seconds. Next, we see garbage collection and database connection pool information. There was no garbage collection generated by our request and getting a connection to the database took only 13 milliseconds. Next, we see the entire set of SQL that was generated as a result of our page request. And this is where it gets interesting. Our one page request ended up generating six individual SQL queries. We can see each of the queries listed along with their actual request parameters and how long each individual query took. If we look vertically, we can see that each query is taking on the order of two seconds. We simulate it in this fashion because we want to represent a case where there's no one runway database query that takes forever to come back. Each of these queries on the order of two seconds is relatively slow, but it might not appear on the radar of our DBA. So, we wouldn't be any further along with knowing why our page request was slow without these diagnostics. Having the SQL tied here to the specific URL request makes the difference. Let's come back and run another page request. We can see in our demo the links are labeled according to the underlying issues. But in production, we don't have that luxury. That's where TC Server Diagnostics provides critical value. Now, we click that link and our browser is spinning. Let's switch back over to our DOS window and we'll wait for that request to complete. It came through. Notice that we actually got two notifications. One called Stuck Request will fire in process while we're waiting for the request to complete. The second notification is called Slow Request, and here we can see that it's a different URL than the first case. We can see that the major difference between this case and the previous one is that the issue is centered around garbage collection. We can see excessive garbage collection occurring here. This data can be correlated to the detailed garbage collection that you may have enabled on your TC server instances. The other thing to notice in this case is that there was no database activity as a result of this page request. Therefore, we can clearly tell that it's not a database issue, but a garbage collection issue. Our developers can use TC Server Developer Edition to trace the issues in the code. Let's switch back to Hyperic, where we can see the diagnostics that fire from TC Server and the built-in alerts it generates. Notice they appear on top of whatever page you're in. The alerts can also trigger control actions, email notifications, and so forth. If we drill in on the resource that had the issue, we can see that the alert data shows on the event timeline here in the same screen as your performance metrics. So, when we highlight a particular event, we can see what was going on in terms of performance metrics in other systems like thread count, garbage collection, and heap memory utilization. 
and if we drill in again, we'll see that the diagnostic information is captured here in Hyperic and is usable by an administration team to get the kind of troubleshooting information they need to quickly resolve issues.